Hello and welcome to another fascinating edition of Bob's Bar Plays Badly and today we're looking at the Krypton Factor on the Spectrum uh, on Platon 48k. Uh, this is under the TV Games uh, label from Domark in 1987. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, it does play based on the show, I mean, it, it follows the show pretty well but uh, well, let's just get into it. Let's uh, listen to the iconic music. Uh, make sure I'm in the right window. Which, as you can hear, is absolutely nothing like the Art of Noise theme uh, that we're used to. Anyway, uh, we can choose players to be players. So let's look through them. There's Rick as a manager from Hull. Jane, teach 20 medics. In the 80s, of course. Uh, uh, everyone looked much older than uh, age suggests, so this is Mike, he's 18 apparently, the fact he might be 12. Uh, Diane, hairdresser, purchased from Glasgow. Dave, musician, uh, who looks a little bit like Eddie Sheen. Uh, actually, this could be, possibly, Dave Gahan from Depeche Mode, I don't know. Uh, Joanna, secretary, 24 from London. Glenn, a journalist, 25 from Exeter. Uh, Karen, a slothanist. 28 from Blackpool. Uh, so they're all going to pick. I'm going to choose Glenn. Uh, and in fantastic uh, uh, you can uh, you can oh no I don't I want Brig. Uh, yeah, I'm playing on the Fuse Spectrum Emulator. I mean you have to press tab rather than delete to get this to work. Uh, We'll have your library assistant will fit, so we'll, we'll just put in librarian. Back, thank you. Oh. 39, that's right, I'm old. Uh, and finally, Cambridge, when it picks up for the thing. That's good. Uh, I'm going to play by myself because uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm too good. Everyone will just win if it was just, uh, me, those people. So uh, let's go into it. So correct, yes, no, yes, it is. The first round is mental agility. Now in this round, I'm going to see a load of numbers, load of digits pop up. Now I have to repeat that, but putting the digits in the correct in, in numerical order. Uh, it was start at six, and it might go all the way up to nine. Um, We'll see, shall we? So here we go. Six, five, nine, two, four, three. So that's two, three, four, five, six, nine. Correct. <clears throat> now, if you're playing multiplayer, everyone will get a go at this at so six. But um, what we're going to do now is go up to seven numbers. Here we go. One, Four, five, five, four, five, five, one, four, four, five, 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 five. Yes, uh, I couldn't remember how many fours there were. I remember the four fives, it was seven digits, so that was handy. So let's go on to eight. Six, seven, five, six, three, six, one, one. One one three five six six seven oh no uh you got it wrong oh no the correct answer was one one three five six 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 and oh, I was actually six there uh, oh never mind still uh that's the end of mental agility I won the round so the Krypton factor of ten the leader is Brig absolutely brilliant. Uh, let's go to the next one. Observation. This is quite hard. It's, it's, it's um, a fair enough uh, version of double take. So you're going to see a picture and you're going to see a story still underneath it. And then you're going to see it again. If key differences. Two of the words that have changed and three of the picture elements that have changed. Uh, and the idea is simply tell them what it is. Uh, so let's see how we get on. Uh, probably quite badly uh, as my short term memory is not that great these days. So here we go. 
In the dawn of religious, the factory of Cybertech glowed as the suns reflected off the building. Inside, the conveyors carried base units along and robots worked connecting parts to the units, which were then passed on to have the process repeated, which is fascinating, isn't it? until another robot was produced. Many of the humans shared the view that this process could be the robot equivalent of a maternity ward. Within the plant, the process carried on as the robots were constructed and shipped out to the other worlds in the Falatlar galaxy. To help humans in their tasks, <coughs> a robot was created which was the most advanced yet. The intelligence units of these models was programmed to make decisions in the same way as humans do. Instead of looking at things logically, they could imagine, whilst not a wonderful breakthrough, this quality allowed mankind to become the dominant species of the planet. Now a quick scan of the picture. Right, so I'm going to show you this. So there'll be two word differences and three pitch differences. So good luck if you uh, can spot all of them. Here we go. Uh, oh, well, I'm a digit submitting on the robot. Uh, the factory was cybertech glowed as the suns reflected off the building. Inside, the conveyors carried base units along and robots worked connecting parts to the units, which were then part. Oh, this is ASMR for you, to, uh, until the process repeated until another robot was produced. That's a long sentence. Many of the humans shared the view that this process could be the robot equivalent of a maternity ward. Within the plant, the process carried on as the robots were constructed and shipped out to other worlds in the Falatar galaxy. To help humans in their tasks, a robot was created which was the most advanced yet. The intelligence units of these models was programmed to make decisions in the same way as humans do. Instead of looking at things logically, they could imagine, whilst not a wonderful breakthrough, this quality allowed mankind to become the dominant species of the planet. Uh, I didn't spot any differences there whatsoever. How about you viewers? So let's go. First of all, text changes. Um, I don't know, I was to pass these, I think, because I've got no clue. Right, there's definitely... Uh, there's definitely a, a, a digit missing on the picture. So I'm guaranteed a point for that. Um, the rest I'm completely guessing. Uh, let's go for a crate added and a wheel omitted. And let's see how we did. Two points. Uh, that means that two of those uh, those pitch observations were correct. Um, and obviously it's got no points of the, um, the, the word one, but never mind. Uh, if you did well at home, I've got no idea what the answers were, so uh, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Uh, let's go to the next uh, response. And this is based on what is secretly the best response game. Forget you're flying your plane. This is the hand bike uh, and the video wall. So what I must do uh, is hammer the Q and A uh, on my keyboard and the O and P to get them both in this target middle zone here. Apparently it requires slight different speeds, but I find uh, if I do it at the same speed, it seems to work all right. Anyway, I'll we'll get to the end of the time, because the amount of time I've got left, I'll use to put the video wall. And I could never do this as a kid. I would never get to the end of the uh, end of this track. But now I'm older and slightly more arthritic, I can do it. So what does that mean? I don't know. Come on, let's get as much time as possible. You need to get, at the end, you need to get the 10 of the video walls correct, just to even get points. Come on, a good 30 seconds, that'll do. Yeah, nice, 29 seconds. Okay, that's a hard bit. Now, using uh, Q, Z, O and M, and it's O not P, which is irritating, uh, we're now going to play the uh, video wall game. So, the screen's going to flash up uh, one of four colours. You must simply guess which colour has is uh, has the most screens on. Then press the button, and you've got like a second to make a decision. So, let's go. Uh, blue, red, 
Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. No. Yellow. Oh, wrong button. Red. Yellow. Yellow. Red. Blue. Blue. Green. Blue. Green. Oh! I have literally never completed that game before. How exciting is that? You got ten correct and seven seconds left. Let's see that can changes my uh, my encryption factor. Ten points for that round. Absolutely amazing. Do you know I have a encryption factor of twenty two? Absolutely incredible. Uh, let's go on to the uh, the next round, which is everyone's favourite. It's a physical agility round. Now you're probably wondering how they go to this on the spectrum, and the answer is quite badly. Uh, so as you can see. I'm now sprinter. Oh, uh, I am um, legs. Oh, 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 controls are wrong. That's why one and Q, obviously. Uh, so I could control my leg, arm, strength, and stamina using various controls here. So on legs. Uh, if you pick the right combinations, uh, you go faster. Um, like that. Neck climb on arms, 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 and strength. And now sprints, legs, legs. And now I've balanced. I've got no idea what I want for this really. Um, probably a balanced setting like that. And sprint legs. And then wade. You want arms, strength. Yep. I think all stamina. No, it makes no difference. Uh, arms. This is good. We are getting through this. Uh, and on to the finish line. And that is like a world record for me 55 seconds um yeah uh it doesn't have the uh exciting death slide of the tv show but you know what can you do now i've got a rank a third a krypton factor of 32 but it's now time for the dreaded intelligence test uh this is kind of like a not really quite like a, like a starting puzzle but uh this involves so many keys that it is a legitimate test of intelligence. Um, you're going to see a picture into nine squares, and then you must put the squares, rotate them in the correct place, and put them in the right place. And you've only got 99 seconds to do this, so let's see how I get on. We're going for the CCS level here. So, um, okay, well, it's, um, that's in the corner uh that's right i think m to select and that goes in the middle i think um yeah i think i've messed this up already that's, that looks like that oh uh, uh uh um not convinced by this at all uh, uh, anyway, I thought I had 100 seconds, but it turns out I don't. I'll keep meaning to rotate them before I put them in, which is what you meant to do. Uh, like that. Um, anyway, if you're playing four players, and whoever does it the faster is the winner. Um, no one will ever do that in a minute, frankly. <clears throat> anyway, uh, see, I did no points with Zen set. That seems rather harsh, to be honest. Uh, anyway, still a good Krypton factor, 32. So that would be a winning score in some series. So let's go straight on to general knowledge, final round. Stop tape, hit a key. Okay, now I was practicing this with block questions one. So to make sure that there's, I'm going to it blind, I'm going to use question two. So uh, here you have the, the iconic... Uh, sideways line up um if only mean it but 100 questions 100 seconds of questions i will buzz in if i know the answer if i don't i'll have to buzz it anyway because it will not move on until someone has so here we go <clears throat> which river separates the Wirral peninsula from wales is that the avon when you buzz in you give three seconds to shout your answer out Uh, correct answer is the river D. Oh. So, no, two points off for that. Let's go. That's right. Whose live album is entitled Under a Blood Red Sky? Um, Enya. 
I've got no idea. The correct answer is you too. Oh, well, there's no one else get that, would they? Okay, let's go again. What was the name of the character played by Peter Cushing in the Star Wars films? Oh, I feel like I should know this. Is that Palpatine? I don't watch Star Wars. I'm more into the Jones person, to be honest. Uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. No, that's all right. Here we go, this one. Name the director of the 1982 film Firefox that starred Clint Eastwood. That was George Lucas, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Oh, it's Clint Eastwood, right, never mind. <coughs> it's Christian Factor going well so far, 24 in films. What made Max mad? Oh, his girlfriend was murdered, wasn't he? Wasn't it? His wife and daughter were killed. I think that's close enough. I'm giving myself points for that. Come on! Name one of the two actors that starred in the television series Batman. Adam West. I can't split this bit up, unfortunately. Adam West, yeah, or Burt Ward, of course, who's played Robin. Was the big right? Yes, he was. Who was reputed to have said, you dirty rat? Uh, that's James Cagney. I know that's been the case, because it came up in block one. Interestingly. Jimmy Cagney, that's right. Get those points back on the board. What was the name of the Beatles' first manager? Uh, Brian Epstein, I don't know. This also came on block one. Have I accidentally put block one on without realising? Alan Williams. Hmm. No. <clears throat> name of a submarine that appeared. Is it block one as well? In the television series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. That is the Sea View. The, uh, the elephant in the room here is that no, the questions don't link into, into, into each other like they do on television, unfortunately. So is it a science fiction film starred Jane Fonda and the heroine Myla O'Shea as. Oh, uh, is it Barbarella? Correct answer is Barbarella, which is of course where Duran Duran gets its name from. Let's put that to our next question now. In Star Trek, which planet did Spock's mother come from? Uh, Vulcan. Volco. The correct answer is... Uh, uh, no. Oh, quickly, which star of the 1975 film A Boy and His Dog later starred in a highly successful... We'll never find out. Um, Joe and I, I've, I've managed to lose two points overall in that round. So uh, let's look at the final scores. And the Krypton factor of 30. The winner is Brig. Ah, oh, amazing. Um, I mean, that's almost a world record practically, isn't it, at 30? Um, I think... I would definitely be the Yard King super person in real life. Anyway, thank you for watching uh, and join us again for another Bobber's Bar Plays Badly soon. Goodbye.